Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, late last week, Microsoft rolled out two identical new Windows 11 preview builds. One to the dev channel, build 26200.5733, and one to the beta channel, 26120.5733. And just a quick reminder, the dev channel is where Microsoft now is actively testing our next annual feature update coming later this year, version 25H2. Now, this is what I would consider to be a light release, but just to keep you guys posted as to what's new. Now, Microsoft, first of all, says that for Windows Insider signed in with a work or school account, which is also known as an Entra RD, File Explorer will now begin showing people icons under the activity column on File Explorer Home and on recommended at the top of File Explorer Home. So what happens now is that when you hover or click over a people icon, it will display the live persona card for that person from Microsoft 365. And then I'm just going to mention the next change and it's regarding the new combined search page where just as a quick recap, what Microsoft is doing now, and this is also starting to roll out to the stable channel, is that Microsoft is combining the search permissions page and the search in Windows page into one unified page just called search, which I think is a nice move. Now, Microsoft says regarding that, it's removing the manage or clear your Bing search history entry from settings, privacy and security, search under search history. The change is that you can now manage your Bing search history directly through the privacy dashboard accessible via the privacy resources link under related settings on that settings page. So that's the new feature and the change. And then we've got one, two, three, four fixes. So I'm just going to mention these all for the purpose of this video. Microsoft says that it's fixed an issue which was causing the updated start menu to crash for some insiders. So that's a niggly issue that's been sorted out. And they also fixed an issue where if you accidentally clicked down and slid your mouse on the taskbar preview thumbnail, clicking it would stop working. They also fixed an underlying crash, which is always good, which could result in widgets on the lock screen not displaying in the last couple of builds. You also couldn't add new ones. And then the last fix is Microsoft fixed an issue in the previous flight which was leading to multi-finger touchpad gestures not working in that previous flight. And then because we asked dealing with preview builds, we've got a good couple of known issues that Microsoft will have to sort out before 25H2 rolls out to the general public. But nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted, a light release for both the dev and the beta channel for last week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.